say a little bit easier on this map just because of the amount of roaming you can do but toon squad very proficient hopefully we'll see a nomad ban come out because that'll shut down a lot of the roaming capabilities but as i say that sonic's gonna ban out glass good luck have fun coming out in the chat right now this matchup honestly means a lot to both teams but i would say this matchup means a lot more to toon squad than it does to sonic's First ban off the board will be Glaz and Toon Squad banning out Buck, which is pretty interesting to me just due to the fact that I personally don't think that a lot of teams don't really know the Buck spots, but that's also going to be a nerf to Neptunes. Like I mentioned before in the first matchup between both of these teams, Neptunes on Buck and Jaeger managed to drop 18 total frags against Toon Squad. And I've mentioned it before, I'll mention it again. If you manage to shut down Neptunes, you're really limiting the Sonics because Neptunes is honestly one of the biggest X factors for the Sonics. And if you manage to shut him down early and often, we've seen it happen with Disrupt and Sonics when they played on co on Consulate. It was the first matchup of the second half of the season where Disrupt won 7-3 on Consulate. Shutting down Neptunes early on was Yeti. Just being able to take him down early on. Neptune's just not able to find the gears going. And just... I really hope that for Toon Squad's sake, they manage to do that. Because if they don't manage to do that, they could be in really big trouble. Yep, and heading on into this first round. Six pick phase coming out right now. Jaeger of Super, who didn't do too much work last week until the dying last minutes of the rounds that we saw in last week's matchup. But he's going to be switching off to the Clash. Very interesting pick. Going to be seeing those ADSs really had an effect on the round. Although the Buck being off the board, that's some nades gone. It doesn't even look like you're going to be using too much, too many gadgets or any sort of utility that'll be affected by that ADS besides the Ash. But I'm excited to see what exactly these teams bring out. And I'm, my guess is that Sonics isn't going to bring out too much. I would imagine that they're not going to show too much, especially on a map like Villa, where there's probably not as many VODs as you would like on them. So I would imagine that this is exactly where we're going to see this team, quote, quote, save their strats for playoffs. Yeah, hopefully they're saving the shots for playoffs indeed, but as of right now, Toon Squad needs to pull out all the stops, all everything that they need to have in their power. They need to win seven rounds to keep their playoff dreams alive. And again, like as I mentioned before, they need to have 92 Dream Team either tie or lose against our bad. And just given the recent performance for our bad, hopefully it's a wake-up call, but in all honesty, it could be really, it, it really rides on the fact of Toon Squad winning out this matchup for 92 Dream Team either tying or losing. But that's enough of that. We'll be moving on into round number one. We see Brainbow starting off things on the Ash, which is really interesting considering you normally have a factor on your entry fragging roll. With drones coming on through, Brainbow's getting really close to the site now, sitting inside of Study, very close nearby. Yeah, we're going to be seeing using this clash on the top of the staircase right now. Pushing up, going to be able to use any sort of intel that they can get right now because this IQ on the board means that they don't want to play too much Valkyrie because that's a waste of utility. But smart plays bringing out the clash. That's a lot of intel that you can get and pretty much stop anyone from running into any sort of unnecessary rush they might try to do. But opening up the wall pretty quickly. It's a minute down right now. And that's a lot of coverage that they have blocking out from anyone going behind this bar. Drones coming out, trying to clear out for that Capitao. The Clash holding down the hallway with Glitch standing on the window. So right now he's in a crossfire. He's got to find some help and make sure that he doesn't get killed or lose anyone else on his team. It's very interesting right now indeed. And interestingly enough, you're not going to have our bad, or I'm sorry, excuse me, Toon Squad use a... An ash charge on that just due to the recent changes to the evil eyes with the oh, evil eye getting open this. on up rainbow's gonna be able to take down that evil eye with an emp that was used on chef and three members of toon squad just trying to deal with one clash here in this oh, hall super just proving to be a, more of a nuisance than anything now yeah, I just want to point out that Maestro is holding the other window. That's why that IQ hasn't been able to come in right now. But Super holding down this hallway almost by himself. He saw the Capital Bolt being used to try to make sure that they can try to find a way into sight. It looks like they might try to just lay down, but that that breach, that breach right there doesn't seem to be all the way open, which probably make it impossible to crawl into. 
setting up for the other side now instead of going down the hallway next to where that clash is trying to push in through the other site with 30 seconds left down on the board right now cap bolt coming out iq coming in getting down by the maestro taken out by goddess who's on that maestro doing great work holding down that corner not letting go of 90 right now opening up a wall and an avian finding a kill of his own trying to crawl through again that barricade is blocking that reinforcement holding down neptune and finding his own kill god is finding a second kill on the factor last kill going out to ghost that was almost a team ace except goddess got two and super found none playing on that clash great use of utility across the board coming out from sonics very great use of utility coming out indeed and just like that i mean granted Villa is the most defender-sided map in all of the Rainbow Six map pool, competitive map pool. So if I'm Toon Squad right now, I'm not too worried. But I'd like to have them see win at least, at the, at the very least, they need to win two rounds on attack. Yeah, if they I want to win Villa. Yeah. That's probably the right call. That's probably what we'll see happen. And I think you'll probably see the second round come down to, or the, the two rounds come down to either the second or third sites. Aviator is kind of a weird site. Depending how you can take it, it's pretty hard to attack, especially with Thermite not being able to really get open walls because of the impact tricking that we see. And that's, if you guys see it on the board, that's why there's always holes above these reinforcements. They use it very, very well, those impact tricks really just stop any sort of hard boot from coming in. It's why they have to always hit bond at the bottom part of the reinforcements. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've heard players say time and time again that attacking Villa just absolutely sucks. It's so hard to attack Villa just due to how, one, the meta is clearly defender-sided, and two, this map is the most defender-sided map in all the map in the entire map, like I mentioned earlier, but... Really, if you're a Toon Squad, I wouldn't be too worried. As long as they're able to find themselves two rounds, they're, they'll be in pretty good shape. And moving on through, we'll have Bonic sitting inside of Statuary and Trophy Room. And without a buck being used, I'm not exactly even sure if Toon Squad knows the buck position. But just due to the fact of how Nep just causes so much havoc on that buck, it's not too surprising to me that they target banned him. As <laughs> so you clearly saw his sad face sitting inside, of, sitting in the chat, but... Uh, moving on, now we'll be on round number two. We'll be glitched being on the astronomy windows. Yeah, and we're going to see the, how they take this astronomy right now. And I honestly won't be surprised to see if they leave someone on that window. But it looks like they're going to be going for a master bedroom site. Hey, but Super trying to get the early pick. Unlucky to connect on that. Yours. This is exactly the type of impact trick is coming out. That's why you can't use a Thermite, you have to use a Hibana, and it honestly has made everything so difficult on this map, and I honestly think that that's why this map can be so defender sided. Drone coming in, he actually got the top part of those Hibana charges, even those tiny little holes right there. It's unfortunate that he wasn't able to get all of them, but it's interesting that he only got the top row. But Super, trying to make sure that no one is allowed in right now, maybe try to go for an early pick. Smart goo mine coming out, making sure no one can rotate okay. through bathroom. He'll at least be alerted. Make sure that no one's able to do an easy rotation. Though we still have five people on the board. Almost a minute 30 down, just over a minute 30 left in the round. And I honestly can't imagine that this is going to come down to some sort of play. It's probably going to come down to a gunfight. Yeah. Oddly enough, there's a pulse on the board and Ghost just being able to roam freely on the second floor. And... Still have Neptune sitting inside of Armory, just being able to position himself inside here. Maybe going to be tossing up the C4, takes down Talon, a huge frag coming on through. That's the Hard Breach dead. Already moving up, he's going to be back here. He'll be taken down. Glitch, but glitch comes up huge. Toon Squad evening things out at a 3-3. Three, three. But moving on in is going to be Neptune's, and just like that, the Sonics take care of everything from Toon Squad. Winning out the second round, and my goodness, huge round and huge... Actually, huge round indeed coming out for Neptunes right there. This is what we were talking about earlier. If Neptunes isn't stopped, they, they, they run away with it, honestly. And I mean, he only got a 2K that round, but he is probably one of the most like fearless players on the board. And he can take gunfights. That's the thing. He doesn't care who he's going up against. He can take these gunfights. And that's why he's a second overall. He was the first overall last week, but maybe after the way he's playing this week, he might move back up into that first place spot.
be very interesting indeed right now if that were to happen, but Rainbow's sick of it. Moving on over to the Montane and his Montane play, as we've seen time and time again throughout the season, is one to be feared. One that could possibly be equivalent of, you know, Young on the Montane, maybe even Pangu on the Montane if, uh, you know, Young back in year one and year two was known for how fearful his Montane play could be. Pingu being a Montane main himself in year one. So I think Brainbow, although, you know, being a Challenge League player and kind of new to the scene in the past few seasons, <laughs> I, I, in my personal opinion, I think that he's earned the title of, you know, being respectful around his, at least this Montane player around there, because we've seen time and time again just how dangerous he is with that shield. Yeah, and it's interesting to see, just as we're talking about that, that ha the castle that they brought out, and then where they're placing these castle barricades right now. Looks like they're going to have the dock sit upstairs. Super probably going to go for an early peek right now. Oh, Can he no. find one? What he is... goes, he gets two kills. Super uh... trying to show up from last week. Trying to go for a third right now. He almost saw the foot of that attack side super he's trying to make sure that he goes positive this week and is negative on the board like he was last week that is not something you want to do if you're toon squad and uh it's the first 30 seconds and it's already a 2v4 rainbow getting the opening frag and it's it's 40 seconds and it's already a 1v4 for rainbow he needs to clutch up but this is not going to happen for super running out early on Gonna find the opening, the second frag onto Super, but Ghost pinching right behind him. Sonic's clearly running away with this one, taking round number three in a quick fashion. And like I was trying to, I was trying to say something earlier, but when Super ran out, he got the two luckiest picks ever. First, well, obviously the kills aren't lucky. Just the operators he fragged managed to be lu really <laughs> lucky because you got the only soft destructor and the only smoke operator well one of the two only smoke operators off the board but capital is more prevalent compared to montane in terms of providing cover and yikes three members of june squad sitting at o o and three and ghost and neptune still have yet to die alongside goddess who's currently sitting at four and oh right now with ghost with uh neptunes super man where was this last week but anyways, we're here now. Oh, he's bringing out the cab. Hopefully we're gonna see an interrogation. I don't know what happened. I don't know if Super was just like, I need to show these casters that I can do all of the work that I need to do. But he's definitely showing up a lot more than he was last week. Going into this round, we're gonna see how they honestly set this up. Will they, they're not gonna hold it the same because they don't have the clash. They still have the impacts on the board from the Legion and probably the smoke, but they don't have any sort of clash to really slow them down. And I honestly feel like the clash was the reason that it worked out so well. And then they didn't ever really push Goddess out of that hallway. So she was able to hold 90 for most of that round. But going into the fourth round right now, we're gonna see if they are able to turn this around in any way, shape or form. But I don't know, it, it, this momentum might be getting away from them, but I hope they can stop the bleeding just a little bit. Hopefully they can stop the bleeding, because if it doesn't happen now, I honestly don't expect them to stop the bleeding at any point in time. But Super getting a bit aggressive on that window over by the mudroom. Exactly what going to be sitting in by, but you're going to have Glitch utilize the Claymore outside of the first floor bathroom. So it'll give him some kind of cover as he repels outside of the 90 window. We're going and joining himself on now and through over by the main stairs. Just trying to make sure that it's clear for his team to push on through and to study. But already you're going to have Rainbow and Factor outside on the study balcony. And I'm not exactly too sure where Super is rotated to. Maybe he's gone down all the way into the basement. But with no Jackal on the board, Super can roam freely out of sight. Yep, and that's exactly what he's probably going to be doing. It's interesting to see. I Again, I think they're saving strats because normally I would expect them to bring a pulse. The super on this uh, cat is going to be really scary. I wonder if he's going to run out. You can get the IQ. The call just needs to come out that she's sitting on the window. He can, If he can do it, but, but there you go. Oh, Almost no. getting the kill. Seeing the head of the IQ, that's super. Swapping that. I don't know if I'm a sidekick, but I totally just predicted that. And that's Avian picking up another kill. That's IQ and Sophia down on the board with only a minute 30 in. It just seems like they're not even wasting time at this point, just getting these kills. 
God is getting a third frag in yet again. Sonic's just being the superior team here and not giving in any kind of inch. And God is prone on the left side of the hall. Super coming, trying to frag out Chef, but it'll end up being Super who is the one that gets fragged out instead. And yet again, another 1v4 situation for a Toon Squad member. I'm not sure if it's just internal comms that are being not utilized, but I think Coast wants to kill Avian here. <laughs> Pointing a shotgun at his teammate, but uh, as of right now, wow, this is just uh, absolutely dominating performance coming out from Sonics, and this could be, at the rate it's going, a very quick 7-0. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe he just, like, shot him in the foot. That was crazy. Um, but... Super, literally right as I predicted, Super running out. That call must have gone out just in time. Honestly, Sonics right now is just playing so unpredictably. They're running out when they probably shouldn't. They're things they probably shouldn't. Right now, they're just playing very unpredictably. And it seems like Toons is struggling with that, not just in this matchup, but in other matchups too. It seems like when they played against OC, as soon as OC started changing things, they couldn't really come back with anything. And right now, I'm hoping it's not going to be a 7-0 sweep, but they're going to go into this half thinking that we really messed up. But it's still time for them to bring back at least two rounds like we were talking about earlier. That's usually what ends up happening on a map like this. It's a little more defender-sided, so not surprising. But we're going to be starting off this round in with the, with the 4 0 v from Sonics. I can't say I'm too surprised just due to the fact that it's Bella. But, I mean, it, like, Toon Squad, their Villa game is known for being pretty outstanding, and <laughs> Ghost is having fun here. Gonna enter a smiley face into the, <laughs> into the trophy wall outside of arm, uh, Astronomy, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed, to say the least, in Toon Squad right now, just given the fact that they they're known for how decent their Villa gameplay can be. But... Uh, this is just absolute dump. This is just an absolute wreckage just coming out for Sonics. Yeah, and you gotta really think about what what can they do differently? I, I mean, it just doesn't even seem like they're playing coordinated anymore. It almost seems like some of the frustration from earlier is starting to carry over to now because this unpredictability coming out is really proving to be a problem. But heading into this next round, 30 seconds down, Looks like the attackers are setting up for a master bedroom take with the Monty trying to clear out anyone that might be roaming downstairs, but it doesn't look like they have any roamers. They might have a lurker sitting on the astronomy stairs, but no one too far off site for the Monty really to affect anything. But Monty's probably going to be pushing up astronomy stairs, going to be seeing that defender sitting on it, hopefully be able to push him out of that location. Super going up for an early run out, getting a ton of damage onto Talon despite taking more damage for himself. The Talon in a really tough spot right now, and Ooh. honestly, the confidence is all high, but... He, oh no, he misses the opportunity to take down Super, who's actually been down... No, he's 1 HP! Sitting inside of the walking closet! What in the world just happened right now? Super sitting at one HP. Honestly, it probably should have been a down, but he's been shot in the feet. But like, Monty almost finding the kill on the Super. Right now, he needs a dock, but there's no dock on the board. Fusion trying to just hold out in this little closet right now. Blackbeard's actually smart watching this rotation. Super finding a kill of his own one HP on the Chef. It's a Thatcher oh, no. down and Super finding another kill. One HP. He has no health, basically. All you need to do is breathe on him. Glitch finding a kill of his own onto Avi and the Monty looking for the kill and finding it onto Super Rainbow. Turning this around into a 3v3 with a minute left in the round. This is really bad right now for Oregon for Toon Squad, but right as I say that, Factor's gonna get the frag onto Neptune, so that'll eliminate the Jaeger now playing inside of Astronomy. And that'll allow Brainbow to freely move on through with that diffuser in hand, and maybe, just maybe, Toon Squad are finally putting themselves in a position to win out the round because with Factor watching the flank on the Astronomy stairs and Ghost slowly creeping up, Factor does not need to get aggressive here on the stairs. He just needs to watch the flank passively. But I don't even think there's anyone else on site right now. With Goddess sitting over by the double door, you have Ghost moving in through the landing zone. 
really bad right now for Toon Squad. His time is slowly running out. Goddess sitting inside of the double door. Brainbow cannot plant. He'll be moving on through. He takes down the head of Goddess. And it's now a 3v1. Ghost manages to take one down. But that'll be Factor getting reset to 20 HP. Plant sticking down for Brainbow now. Ghost not in a position to shut it down after wasting a C4. Coming around is going to be Brainbow getting a ton of damage. But Glitch is there to finally give Toon Squad their first round. And dare I say it, they need this next round in their favor if they want to have any kind of chance going on to their defense. I have no idea what Super was thinking, trying to run around like that, just trying to play out of his mind right now. 5-1-4, and four, I, he's been dying, but he's at least been taking people down with him, been trading out. That's the right thing you want to do, although he did have 1 HP, although probably could have used those Legion Mines just a little bit longer, not sure if getting too aggressive was the call, but... I, I you gotta give it to Toons for really turning that around. It's a 5v3, turn it back around with 3v3, and then closing out the round into a 1v3. Jeff gonna be six picking off of the Thatcher on the IQ. It looks like he's gonna be going on to the Maverick now. Interesting pick, bringing out the Frost instead of the Legion. Super has been a man wearing very... He's been wearing a lot of different hats throughout this matchup because he's been <laughs> playing probably a different character every single round. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I wouldn't be too surprised if that were to happen, but, you know, as of right now, we currently have Toon Squad sitting at a 1-4 deficit against the, the Susquehanna Sonics, and they, the Toon Squad really needs to make this round count against the Sonics, or I guess you could say in this case they're the Monstars. <laughs> But moving on, this will be the sixth and final round for the defense for the Sonics. And then this will be the final attack round for the Toon Squad. Yep, and we're going to see if anyone ends up landing on these frost mats right now because I feel like when you're not expecting it at all, that's when you get frost matted the most. And he was playing the lesion, putting those traps on the windows, but now he changes over to the frost, putting the frost mats in the same exact spots. He only has three of them. But if someone's not paying attention, especially the Monty, that Monty is going to get frost matted. So hopefully we'll see the Monty get downed, but smart plays come out from the from the attacking side. We probably won't see anyone get down because they're going to drone all that stuff out. Toon Squad is known for very proficient droning, so I wouldn't be surprised to see them take out most, if not all, of those frost mats before anyone ends up trapped on them. Fair enough indeed, and already the first minute gonna get burned on out. You have Brainbow moving on through the first floor now, just making sure that it's clear over by those red stairs before he moves on up. But you also have Super playing on the red stairs platform. So as of right now, you're gonna have Toon Squad trying to see if they can try to eliminate, maybe if they can try to eliminate Super, but you know, right now, as, as of right now, you have Talon sitting in the back of spawn. Running on through. It'll be Chef moving his drone into Master Bedroom. Right now coming to Master Bedroom, I'm wondering if we're going to see the exact same take come out right now. We got Glitch droning downstairs, trying to see if there's any roamers. Got someone sitting on Astronomy stairs right now. Avian definitely heard that. Coming out, he sees the drone, ends up getting it. That's the Blackbeard's drone. He knows that there's someone on the staircase right now. Brainbow spotting out one of the defenders, and that's going to be Super on the Frost. Blocking the doorway, very smart plays coming out from the monster right now. Trying to just give them a little window to shoot through, but not too much that his team will end up getting killed. Avi getting the first open kill on the glitch. What a nice job getting that black, getting rid of the Blackbeard actually. The Blackbeard that last time around proved to be a bit of a nuisance for a Ghost on the Valkyrie trying to clutch up in a 1v3, but. The last time around, Toon Squad were in a deficit, sitting at 3-5, but they managed to swing things around, and ooh, Super getting really close to Chef here. If he's not careful, his legs could be spotted out, but it's not going to happen for this time around. Super just trying to find a weak spot in Chef's holes that he's being made with those blow with his blowtorch. As we're moving on up to the final 35 seconds now, Factor's going to get a frag onto Avian. Chef makes a bit of a bigger hole for himself, and that'll be allowing for Factor to make a bit more room. And Factor goes down, but no! Neptunes comes up big with the melee onto Rainbow! That'll allow him to drop down, and Ghost being able to pick off Factor finally, but Chef being able to take down Super with the trade, 2v3. Ghost still sitting below on the pulse, trying to provide information, but he's 
not going to happen, but Chef gets a frag onto Neptunes after he takes down Talon. Five seconds left to play on out. That'll be a great frag to come on for Goddess. Only one attack round for Toon Squad. Finally trying to look a little bit more alive, but Sonic's proven to be more of a, of a devastating team as they currently sit 5-1. to one. What a round from Sonics, dude. They were closing every single round down to the dying seconds, and then they are picking up every single kill. And if someone dies, they are making sure that someone is there to trade. That's exactly what Neptunes did. Neptunes actually downed the IQ, I believe, and then followed it up with a kill onto the Monty, who actually dropped his shield. Neptunes ended up getting around him and knifing him. I, You got to give it to Neptunes. Neptunes did amazing that round pretty much closed out that round or at least assisted in closing out that round for sonics yeah but now it's time for the toon squad to defend on this map and consequent and contrarily it's time for the sonics to attack and given just how dominant that toon squad can be on defense i'm not too worried although they're sitting at a four round deficit right now you do have Rainbow on that pulse to provide information, but wow. Okay, you have a Blitz and a Blackbird coming out from Super and Goddess. So getting super aggressive is going to be very much needed and establishing crossfires for Toon Squad as well. It'll be really interesting. And considering that Buck is no longer on the table, considering that he's banned, Nep has moved on over to the Ash. You gotta wonder what they're doing with the lineup that they brought. You think they're trying to tilt the other team, or you think this is part of just let's just frag out and hope for the best? Because normally you see Avian on the Capital, but I feel like they don't want to bring out the Capital because they don't want to expose anything they might have for him. But Avian did amazing last week with that M249. But now we are on to this round. This is the next half of this game right now with Sonics on attack. And we have Toon Squad on their defense. We have Goddess on the Blackbeard, probably going to hold down this window, maybe find a connection. Try not to find anyone in Master, though, because you don't want to be peeked from there. This is smart plays by Super, setting up to make sure no one can flank from downstairs. They also know that there's a pulse on the board right now. And this is honestly, this is it right now, this round. And if Toon Squad ends up winning it, it's until they can get seven, because if Toon Squad doesn't get this round right now, their hopes of getting into the playoffs are completely over. And I would not be surprised to see if Sonics is able to pick up this last round to pretty much put it into at least a tie. It would be very dangerous for Toon Squad if they manage to slip up on this round, but they gotta have faith in themselves and faith in their teammates as well. But it looks like Glitch can't pop back on through from that rotate, but right now Neptune's gonna be on the 90 repel. Getting really close around, trying to move on through, but I believe that Super is sitting inside of the 90 hallway as well, and pings are be coming out from the Jackal, from Avian. That'll be the Legion of Factor getting spotted out in sight. C4 comes up, but misses the target. Rainbow missing absolutely everything with that C4. Poor timing, and already you have Talon sitting at 1 HP. Yeah, we got Neptunes pushing up on the Ash. They took away his buck, but he does not care. G36 C ACOG on Ash. And you got Goddess holding down this angle right now. He knows exactly where he is. Goddess on 1 HP. Unlucky that Pulse almost finding the kill. Saving that C4. Oh, he actually used that C4 trying to get Neptune's 1 HP right now. We have two people on the attacking side with 50 HP and below. But Talon trying to see if he can find a kill with his own 1 HP. Factor finding the first kill of the round onto Goddess. Got goes following up on a Rainbow. Factor finding another onto Ghost. We got Neptunes pushing in, trying to get a second kill. Glitch closing out Neptunes. 3v2 right now. We got two attackers, three defenders. Can they hold the rest of this round down? We got 30 seconds left, and we only have Legion Smoke on the board to really stop any sort of plant. But we have the Blitz of Super and Avian on the Jackal, trying to help close this round out and really put them in a 6-1. No, that smoke misses. Glitch getting the frag onto Super, all to Avian, swinging on through. He takes down Chef, but he'll get treated out by Glitch. That's a 2k coming out from Glitch, and on all honesty, <laughs> there goes Super flying. But oh my goodness, a huge round coming out from Factor indeed. Wow, that trade on Ghost was absolutely instantaneous, and that honestly won the round. Yep, and that's just, they gotta claw all these rounds back right now. Doesn't stop the bleeding just yet. 
They got to keep going. Talon still has zero kills. Zero, one, and seven. Hasn't been able to find the board. It's unfortunate he hasn't been able to find the board. He's been put in really bad situations. That last round, he had one HP on the Maestro sitting inside of the vault. And it's unfortunate that he died. But you have to be able to find the board to really help your team out right now. And right now, I feel like Talon needs to pick it up just a little bit to help this team out and win these rounds. We have a six pick from the Alibi onto the Valkyrie. Probably is the smartest play. Get a lot more intel that way. And they're not even bringing the IQ. So it's going to be a lot harder to find those cams. A lot harder to find those cams indeed. And with no IQ coming out, it's really interesting to see that Super is sticking with this play. I wasn't too sure if this was just a rush strat coming on out for the Sonics, but just being able to not find really anyone early on, this doesn't seem to be more of a rush strat, but more of like a Camera aggressive in, in your face strat in really Activate. close quarters that'll be happening out for at least Super. And with Ghost on the Twitch, it's really uncommon to see him because you normally see him on Zofia, which is what he's known for playing <laughs> throughout this entire season. Even back on Rise, you had Ghost on on Zofia, but uh, seeing him on Twitch, it's a bit of a trade, although uh, you're trading out one great gun for possibly, arguably, the best gun the entirety of Rainbow Six Siege. So it'll be interesting to see how Sonic's managed to retaliate in that last round. Looks like both Ghost and Super are going to be taking control of Study alongside Neptune's joining them in. Yeah, and it's interesting to see them keep bringing the Blitz. It's almost reminiscent of when you watch DZ play in Pro League and you see Mint bring the Blitz every single time. Super is the IGL of Sonics, and he does a lot of the strat work and counter stratting for this matchup. So it's not surprising to see him on the shield. Mint he was even quoted saying that shield's the best way to pretty much be able to see everything and be able to break down everything. You can make calls a lot better. So it's no shock to hear that they're bringing out the Blitz, although it might not be part of their main strat on Villa. But for right now, it seems to be proving a little bit a little bit of a nuisance, but not too much just yet. We only saw one round on the attack. So we're going to come down to this next round onto Astronomy and Master Bedroom. We're going to see if they can really get these pushes out right now. But they have a Valkyrie and a Mute, it looks like, downstairs. That's two fours on the board still. You see fours on the board indeed with Brainbow and Factor being on the Mute and the Valkyrie. Already taking a Goomine to the leg is going to be super. Half the round wasted, and the Sonics need to start making some kind of push into the bomb site. But the fact that the is still going down beneath and no pulse to provide the information, we'll have to really work with, alongside those evil eyes. And I believe there might no, there's no bulletproof can, excuse me for that, but really just comes down to timing right now as there's only 70 seconds left to play out. The Sonics have already burned 20 seconds since the second half of the round. It really rides on the C4 is coming on through for Brainbow and Factor, but already going to be utilizing a Toxic Babe coming on out from Chef when you normally see Talon playing on that smoke roll. Yep, and we're going to see God is coming in through the master bedroom, or at least trying to right now. Super trying to come into that statue area right now. The smokes are probably going to come out. It's 45 seconds left on the board. We have Avian and Super both have smokes. And we have Goddess sitting on the Hibana, just making sure no one flanks through Master Bedroom. We got Super pushing up, trying to find the first open kill on the Legion. Flashing out the Legion, getting the headshot. We have Glitch finding a kill on the Avian. Talon finding a kill on the Ghost. Rainbow finding his own kill on the Goddess. It's down to a 2v4. And Neptune's finding a kill on the Chef. Super trying to smoke out right now. Going to be pushing into the site gotta be careful crossfire the maestro ducking down trying not to get flashed super finding another kill it's down to a 2v2 with 10 seconds left factor finding one more kill can neptunes close this out it's down to five seconds left factor trying to hold down ash getting killed on the round factor closing this out it's down to it's a three to five now are they gonna come back or they're gonna stop the bleeding at all we're just gonna have to keep watching and find out abdullah rahim Absolutely saving everything for Toon Squad if they're picking up two huge frags. That's the A factor we know and love. And an absolutely monstrous performance coming out for Toon Squad, keeping their playoff hopes alive. They're currently sitting now at a 3 5 split. And they need to win out the next four rounds to keep their playoff hopes alive. Yep, and they got it, dude. <laughs> Gotta wonder what's happening in the columns of Sonics right now because. 
They're bringing out the Nomad now. Normally, Avian's on that sort of flex support role, and it seems like that Nomad is probably going to make a difference because I feel like they're running into a lot of issues with these Roamers. You can shut down the Roamers, especially on this site. Shut down the Roamers upstairs and make sure to get all the kills you need to get, and you'll be able to clear out up top pretty easily. It's pretty hard to take when you have... It's pretty hard to retake when you have a Nomad on the floor on pretty much any map, and a map like this, where there's really long hallways, you're going to end up getting shot down as soon as you run into one of those air jabs. Richer enough indeed, and it's all or nothing right now for the Sonics because the momentum is clearly swung in favor of the Toon Squad. And they're, <laughs> honestly, in all honesty, this looks to be like how the movie goes out where you have the Monstars just completely dominating. And then in the second half, you have the Toon Squad, you know, finding themselves, finding the truth within themselves, being able to motivate and provide some kind of you know, the hype, at least moving on through, and oh man, this has been an absolutely great matchup, they're two rounds away from tying things up against the Sonics and, and completing the upset in all honesty, so as of right now, Team Squad sitting two rounds away from tying the Sonics, and with this Nomad coming on through, they could choose to possibly regret how the how the bands went through, given that they were glad and bucked for the attackers. Going live. Yep, and but heading into this round, we got almost 40 seconds off the floor, just about. And I'm excited to see how they really try to take this. This site's a lot harder to play on defense than it is for the attackers to really go at it. So I'm excited to see how they decide to attack it. Given that we've seen the last two defending rounds really go in the way of the defenders. So Avian coming out, trying to open up this window right now. No luck. They're going to see him set up, almost getting too far through the wall. That would have been a crazy kill on the Neptunes. They actually put the Nep Neptunes back onto the IQ. He played IQ perfectly last week. and did a lot of fragging. So I'm hoping to see him come out and pretty much do the exact same thing this attack. Hopefully enough indeed. And utilizing this angle in the living room to look all the way at the astronomy stairs is really one that I've never really thought of using, but it's really interesting for them to see it. And already we're moving on up to the final half of the round here. And with the Mute Jammer around the corner, Avian will not be able to provide himself with any kind of information, but he'll luckily get his drone away and Factor getting aggressive and be able to miss out on an opportunity to frag off Avian, which in all honesty, if he frags Avian off early on, being able to take down those air jabs really with only 60 seconds left to play is really crucial for the defense right now. Yeah, and right now we're coming down to the last minute of this round. No ground really covered with Avon push into that little closet that's right there, but they haven't even cleared out the roamers that are upstairs. Avian still outside. I feel like they're going to use him in the last dying second. Super still has the diffuser right now. Doc making sure not to give up any room. And they actually have that Maestro that's still upstairs. That's going to be a cause of problem because Maestro has that secondary that can open up the floor, especially with the amount of cams that they've been playing with right now. You see Brainbow getting flashed by what I assume is the Blitz, but Blitz getting taken out. Avian finding a kill on the Factor. Talon finding a kill on the Neptunes. Brainbow finding a kill on the Avian. What in the world is happening right now? We're down to the last 20 seconds of the round. Ash doesn't know that there's someone right there. We're going to have Goddess trying to push in right now. With the defender holding the angle with his shotgun. It's going to be interesting to see Glitch finding another kill on the Ghost. And Brainbow closing out the round, killing Goddess. That's going to be four to five. What in the world is happening right now? What is happening right now is that Toon Squad are proving absolutely dominant on this defense. One round away from tying it up against the Sonics, currently sitting at 4-5. And in all honesty, what's really happening is the fact that, that Sonics, they're not finding the necessary frags that they're used to. They're not finding the opening kills early on in the, in the, in the rounds. They're, the great thing with Toon Squad right now is that they're playing their angles perfectly, and they're playing time just right. They're forcing the Sonics to make a 5-on-5 five -five push to the site. They're forcing the Sonics to push in the last 45 seconds because the Sonics want Toon Squad to get over-aggressive. They want them to peak. But the discipline coming out from Toon Squad is absolutely immaculate. I cannot stress enough just how well the defenders of Toon Squad are playing right now. And they realize that if they want to beat the Sonics, they need to control the tempo of the game. They're on defense right now, and they need to set the bar for the rest of this game. And so far, they've really done that throughout this entire matchup. 
and dare I say it, they are one round away from tying things up and a potential W in their pocket. And right now, Talon actually was able to find his first two kills on the board. We saw that in the earlier leaderboard, but I just want to talk about what exactly just happened that round before we get into the next one. Honestly, that was really crazy that we didn't see him try to run here upstairs. I'm surprised they didn't even bother trying. They were just taking it from the south side on the first floor. Didn't send anyone up the basement stairs. Didn't send anyone up top to try to take them out. And that's really what it came down to was there just was no clearing and there was no ground covered. They just tried to push in 5v5. No open picks, no early picks, nothing really. It's interesting to see. Very interesting to see indeed and already. Got 30 seconds with Neptunes and Super Super switching out one shield for the other. So no blitz this time around, utilizing a Montane instead, as we saw how it was earlier on. In all honesty, I in my opinion, I think Blitz is a more powerful operator compared to the Montane. At least when you're trying to make pushes aggressive onto site, but Really, the way the Sonics have been playing, I don't disagree with them switching it out for a Montane. And I really hope that Super manages to provide himself with uh, some commendable shield play otherwise. Because he's been the one to die off first early on, just rushing through into sight in the last 30 seconds. But that was a really interesting Nomad charge coming on through for Avian. But, oh no, the bandit glitched, used the wrong bomb. Oh no. The Zofia Mines coming out from Ghost, perfect timing, being able to take down the Bandit from utilizing that battery. And that's also one thing that I'm really curious to see that I think it was a few updates ago. I know that when Zofia first came out, it wasn't like that. You could still Bandit trick through the Zofia charge, but maybe that's just the quality of life change for Zofia. And unfortunately, Ghost, or I'm sorry, Glitch not able to utilize the battery to stop the breach from happening. Yep, and we're going to be seeing them come down to the, almost the last minute, 15 seconds right now, with no kills on the board. They covered some ground, they've taken control of 90, but they haven't been able to get that vault open because they have no way of getting that electric battery off the wall right now. And that's going to prove to be a problem for how they really wanted to attack this. Interesting that Factor is upstairs right now, but Neptune's getting the opening kill onto Brainbow with Ghosts getting down. This is going to spell trouble for the attackers right now because they have to stop and go pick up the Sophia unless they let her up herself by herself. It's going to be interesting to see how they decide to attack this. 40 seconds left to play on out. Toon Squad needs to be absolutely disciplined here. And with this Montane of Super, the C4 is not going to be such an easy feat to complete. But we still have the defenders still taking control of sight. The Toxic Bay is going to come on through. Super, the only member of the Sonics in sight right now. GF Chef moving on through into the vault. And Super not giving up any control. Factor is going to be taken down by Neptune's 3v5. Where the Sonics? C4 comes on through. It doesn't connect. Ghost gets one to Chef. 2v5. Neptune's got the big all up to his talent, but he cannot complete it. The Sonics can ruin the dreams of the, of the Toon Squad. And just like that, finally, the Sonics are able to put themselves on the board. And due to time constraints and the positioning coming out for Sonics, They'll at least for the time being hold the tie in their favor and man just the absolute fragging power coming out from neptunes he's been on a heater he does not want to lose this game but on the other hand it's a real heartbreaker to see that as of right now if 92 dream team does not manage to tie against disrupt i'm sorry if 92 dream team does not manage to lose against disrupt in their fourth game later on tonight on stokes tv then it's all over for the Toon Squad if Toon Squad manages to tie here. Sonics able to all, able to be in the tying situation. They need to win this last round right now to actually win it out. And Super doing a lot more work with this Monty than he was with the Blitz. And it almost seems like he's playing it just as aggressively. But I think being able to at least cover your feet and having the smokes on the board with the Monty has been a lot more helpful than having the Blitz flash in and try to try to play a little bit more aggressively because he keeps getting killed too early and he's usually the one holding the diffuser but it's going to be interesting to see how we really see the rest of this round play out because last time they went here came down to the last dying seconds and the defenders were able to win it out so this is pretty much going to be the match point for sonics to see if they can really close out this match and put them put toon squad at a loss and keep them in the bottom four These next two rounds are absolutely crucial 
for the Toon Squad. Playoff hopes are riding on this round. Playoff hopes are riding on the net on if Toon Squad are able to even manage to win this round and the following round and tie things up for themselves. And 92 Dream Team are currently sitting happy knowing that, that at, for, for the time being at least at the very most for Toon Squad that they can achieve is a tie. And 92 Dream Team needs to find themselves winning out their matchup. Because, at I mean, for... Well, they can actually lose their matchup if Toon Squad ends up losing here. And they can rest easy for playoffs. But nobody likes losing. And I'm pretty sure that 92 Dream Team would like to secure at least three more points before their season ends. So, with that being said, we'll have Goddess being joining out Master alongside Avian being on the repel outside of Astronomy Window. And interestingly enough, you're going to have Ghost going for an entry downstairs into the basement. Yep, and he's going to be doing that just so he can see if they can find anyone downstairs without getting the opening kill onto Neptune. That's a big player off the board, and that's a good gadget to get off the board. The rest of your electronics will be sitting still. In fact, they're getting another kill into Ghost. What an interesting way to start off this round. Doesn't seem like Sonics has been able to really just pull off getting a kill. We're gonna get the C4. Unlucky, not able to connect that C4. Is Factor sitting downstairs. Probably gonna be rotating back up right now, trying to make sure that he can help out his team in any way he can. They were getting absolutely bullied by the amount of utility just being thrown at him. Two C4s. I'm not even sure if Chef has managed to use some toxic babes, but Super's gonna be able to pinpoint that location. The factor rotating on, sorry, Rainbow rotating up the astronomy stairs now. But man advantage in time is currently in the favor of the Toon Squad. And with Super on 20 HP, if Chef were to toss in a toxic babe into that bathroom, it could be another frag for the Toon Squad and improve their chances of winning out this 11th round. But so far, that has not been the case right now. And you still have Brainbow playing down beneath over in the bottom half of 90. And God is just moving out on through, trying to utilize what she can. And I'm not even sure if she can get through just due to the mute jammers. And with no way to get rid of those jammers, they're going to have to push in and bottleneck their way through. So Brainbow gets this third frag onto Avian. And just like that, two squad comes up huge. Glitch getting the final two onto Goddess and Super. We are one round away deciding whether or not if Toon Squad are going to be able to manage to find themselves with a tie or if the Sonics manage to find themselves with three points. So, one round left. It all comes down in the next three minutes and 45 seconds. Once the pick phase is over, can Toon Squad find themselves winning out yet another round? Or will the Sonics be able to muster through and push on through and find themselves with another W? Unfortunately, right now you have Chef and Talon providing two i'm sorry five kills in total for themselves and you have three members being rainbow glitch and factor nearly breaking that double digit mark and i believe that was factor who has also broken that double digit mark if i'm not mistaken but remains it remains all on this round for toon squads hopes and dreams of playoff contention Yep, and right now, this is pretty much, this is everything we've been watching. This is going to be the final round to decide what exactly the scoreline on the standings is going to be for each team. Sonics is going to go home with one point at the very least, hoping they're trying to find that three points. But if Toon Squad right now trying to find at least one point and hope for the best on that 92 Dream Team later on Stokes TV. But right now, we're in this matchup. It's five to six. Everything is pretty much on the line for Toon Squad right now. And they're gonna have to play their heart out. They won Aviator last time around. And I'm hoping that we see that happen again because that would mean that this tie would go, that this game would go the distance and the tie would mean so much to them. I could not agree more and the remaining 2 minutes and 50 seconds of this round will be for all the marbles, whether or not Toon Squad managed to find themselves with the points, and whether or not if the Sonics find themselves with the 3 points, but that's going to be Rainbow getting super aggressive, getting really close to death there against Ghost for pulling on in. If you were to land that shot, that would have been an absolutely huge way to start off the round, but Ghost taking a bit of a more sensible approach and will rotate himself around over the study room, but it was super on this monster, he's been super effective. 
Yep, and he's been really effective on these pushes, and especially the amount of work he did last time they played Aviator, or at least they attacked Aviator. He got the two last kills of the round, so hopefully we'll see some strong plays come out. If Rainbow tries to throw this, he has to get that Bandit battery off the wall, and able to throw it over, and it looks like exactly what he's going to do, but this C4 won't connect because there's no one currently sitting in this doorway. Avian putting down smart air jabs, making sure that if any defender decides to rotate down below, you won't have to deal with them. It won't be a problem. And this Maestro holding down 90 right now against Neptunes. The Monty pushing up is going to push him out of this position right now. Being able to see the Maestro unable to connect is going to be this Maestro against this Monty. The IQ trying to find this kill. One HP right now. Super needs to drop his shield and get this kill. And then that's exactly what he's going to do. I'm getting super aggressive there. There was no need for it. But just like that, Neptunes and Avian will fall to Factor and Chef. The 90 window is completely clear. It's all up to Super back. sitting alone inside of 90. He's going to have to have backup come up from Goddess sitting inside of the Classical Hall. Toxic babes get thrown on out. And Super will need to have some very strong contention. But now Ghost gets into a 3 But instantly traded out by Factor. Factor coming up big. But Goddess will instantly trade out Factor. 2v2. Chef and Glitch on the backs of Toon Squad. It's all up to them to keep the playoff contention alive. They need to play this out. You still have Chef on those Toxic Blade books. Glitch comes up big with the frag on to Super. 2v1. Goddess needs to find the remaining two members of Toon Squad. And it's all up to her. Can she clutch it out? 1v2. Moves on through into study. Will now make a move into Aviator. But sitting behind the board is going the bar is going to be Chef inside of games room now and moving on through there's 30 seconds left slowly creeping on through she needs to pick up that diffuser or find the remaining two frags you're gonna have you're gonna have glitch sitting inside of games and this is all for the marbles now god is missing the shots does not have time to reload finds the first frag onto glitch it's all up to this now 10 seconds left to go she needs to find the b bomb site she'll go for it now she'll start to go for that defuse She'll start to plant. It's all up to Chef now. Can he make this happen? Goddess will end up sticking that defuse. And Chef will move on through. Not being aware of her, her actual position now. Swinging around. She'll move on into study. And now it's all up to Chef. He needs to win this out. No more talk. The base goes on through. But she flashes herself. Oh no. And just like that, Chef will have enough time to move on through with the counter defuse. Two seconds left. Goddess does not have enough time. But she gets the oh flag. And Sonic win it out by the skin of their teeth. By the nail of her. Oh my god. What just happened a millisecond away from tying it up? And oh no, the Toon Squad managed to not win out the round. Chef only had half a second more. He would have been able to stick it through, but just like that, the Sonics win it on out. Seven to five on Villa, and that is two very tough and heartbreaking losses happening for the Toon Squad tonight as they lose 7-5 against Organized Chaos. They lose 7-5 against the Sonics. And a Cinderella story is going to have to be put to an end there. And just like that, we'll have to see Toon Squad make a move back in the qualifiers in three months. Oh my god. What? What an ending. 1v2. God is put in probably one of the worst situations you get put into didn't have the diffuser he had hibana hibana doesn't have a lot of ammo in her primary and goddess actually stuck the plant i thought for sure though that he was gonna stick the defuse when she flashed herself because i think she heard it going off but they must have had a drone or something on it and that's why they knew that's just smart play good coverage by sonics but oh my goodness what an end to an absolute barn burner of a match I cannot believe what just happened. They were so... Toon Squad were so close completing the comeback. If Chef had just a millisecond more worth of time... Oh, that's a huge heartbreaker coming right now. But without further ado, we're going to be cutting to a quick short break. We're just going to get super on in, in the meantime. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> 